Hi, this is Jane from SC4. So I want to show you how to get into the CQ researcher reports. Um, so let's say there's two ways you can access it for Dr. O'Brien's class. One is to go to the um, library guide for Dr. O'Brien. She has links right on the guide to those CQ researcher reports. Remember, the guide is at esearch.sc4.edu slash sob. So if we wanted to go to bullying and cyberbullying, we can just click right on that link. It opens it as a new tab. Then it will prompt you to log in with your SC4 portal username and password. Now your username, it's not asking for the whole your whole SC4 email address, just the first part of your username up until the at sign. So here mine's Jay Lewandowski, then your password, then log in. Another way you could get to CQ Researcher, you can just Google SC4 library. Should be the first thing that comes up. Go to databases A to Z. Let's say you're looking for your own a CQ researcher on something, on a topic. Scroll down. CQ researcher right here. Again, it'll prompt me to log in. I click log in. It goes right to the uh, main page of CQ researcher. So and comes out every week. So. Today's is global protest movements. Uh, very interesting. So, but we're going to look for bullying and cyberbullying. Remember, there's a link to it right on the guide and in Canvas. I'm going to click here. Um, there is our report because Dr. O'Brien wants you to have the 2018 report. There is a short report that talks about it also back in 2015, but we'll just click right on bullying and cyberbullying. You bring up the report in an HTML format. So it reads through, it's about 15 pages long. You can use the table of contents over here on the left to go right to certain sections. But if you prefer, like if you have a slow internet connection or limited internet, you can view it as a PDF here. It will open as a PDF, which then you can download and save to whatever device you have. Like you could save this right to your smartphone, for example. I'm going to go back. Um, and remember, if you wanna cite it, you can click on Cite Now. It brings up APA citation first. You will want MLA for this class. And there's your MLA citation. You can click three times on it, copy it, and paste it. I like to add the subtitle. So here it, it has the full first part of the title is bullying and cyberbullying. For some reason, CQ Researcher doesn't include the, I would put a colon, are schools doing enough to protect victims? And then end quote. But you don't have to do that. But you do have to enter the day you accessed the report. So for today, I would have accessed 1 May 2020, period, to this. Once I clicked on it, copied it, and pasted it into my works site, then I could add the date access part. And remember to contact us if you need help. Thank you.